is Robert Wilson, and my partner Arno Penzias and I have worked to discover cosmic microwave, microwave background radiation. And we were the first to measure this type of radiation, and our work provided information to help us understand the creation of the universe. This re research has since become evidence to support what is popularly known as the Big Bang Theory. This theory is the theory that everything in the universe emerged from this incredibly dense and hot state in a cataclysmic explosion. Our, dis our discovery was actually an accident. So when I was hired to Bell Labs in 1962, I was working with masers to amplify weak signals while mapping radio signals coming from the Milky Way. And when the satellite Telstar was launched, the, previously, the previous satellite Echo was basically made obsolete and we were finally able to get our hands on the home Bell antenna. And this was the antenna that had previously been attached to Echo and it had finally been made available for research purposes. Um, when we began to use it as a radio telescope, we discovered what could be called a background noise, which is also like, it sounds like radio static. And um, initially we believed that this static was coming from within the antenna, but there had been no issues with it while it was a part of Echo. We checked every single possibility and even pointed the antenna to, towards New York City um, to ensure that it wasn't sound coming from the urban areas and the sound remained constant throughout all four seasons. So, so we concluded that the sound could not be coming from the machines, nor was it some random sound that was causing the radiation. After ruling out nearly every possibility, Robert Dick from Princeton University shared his work with us. Though, through working with Dick, we found that this radiostatic-like noise was believed to be residue from the explosion that has taken the form of a low-level background radiation throughout the universe. Um, our project began at Bell Labs in Crawford Hill, New Jersey. Both Penzias and I were working there at the time, and we were both studying microwave amplification, amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, which is more commonly known as masers, as I mentioned previously. Um, because we had no intention of studying the creation of the universe, we did not pick this location specifically. It just happened to be where we were when our discovery was made. Um, while our research was being conducted, it was being conducted amidst what could be considered the most controversial time periods of that century. And the nation was still recovering from the assassination of JFK and the civil rights movement had just taken the country by storm. In fact, this was right around the time that Martin Luther King Jr. had um, given his famous I Have a Dream speech. So Arno Penzias was my partner in this discovery, and he was a German-born radio astronomer who had joined Bell Labs about four or five years before I did. And when I arrived, I found that he had been conducting the same type of research involving masers that I had been. And we decided to work together after the home bell antenna was free to use for research. We both had our eye on this antenna for quite a while and both of us knew it would make a great radio telescope. So after we published our research, um, Penzias and I continued to work together on projects for over a decade. And Robert Dick was also involved in the, in the, in the project, but he did not come into the picture until after we had made our discovery. He played a primary role in like the publishing of the theory itself. So mine and Penzias' roles in the project went hand in hand. Robert Dick had proposed that if the Big Bang did occur, then there would be a low level background radiation throughout the universe. And he was looking for evidence to support his theory when he came across our work. However, I was originally trained that the universe had no beginning or end. And this was known as the steady state theory. So I was slightly uncomfortable with the idea that our observations would become research to support the Big Bang theory. Therefore, when we eventually published alongside Dick, we reported our observations as facts and avoided any type of bias wording. Penzias and I simply focused on our cosmic microwave background radiation, radiation research and worked outside of the Big Bang Theory. Um, I think our research has provided the physics community a new point of view. Before our discovery, there were only two theories about the universe's origin, and that was the steady state theory and the Big Bang Theory. In the Big Bang Theory, was considered very controversial at the time. We were able to change the manner in which the science of cosmo cosmology was seen and very soon it was considered to be a respectable branch of physics. And we successfully altered how the world viewed the universe and paved the way for many physicists to come after us. I truly believe that our discovery will change the way people view the creation of the universe in the future. 
and many believe that it was either 100% science or 100% religion when it comes to the creation. But I think we've allowed people the opportunity to establish their own thoughts or beliefs. In no way am I saying that it disproves religion or proves the Big Bang Theory, but it definitely raises some questions. Um, hopefully these ideas will give individuals the opportunity to be creative and dive deeper into the concept, opening the door for new theories and ideas that will eventually expand the field. I hope that it'll spark an interest in the field of cosmology and even physics as a whole.